Hi, I'm Nicola from Modalise Creative and today we're going to look at how to remove a back shoulder blade dart from a basic bodice. If you like this video and you want to keep up to date with our other short uh, videos on pattern cutting techniques, then please subscribe to our channel. Let's take a look. So let's take a look at how to remove the back shoulder blade dart. First of all, I want to point out that the cross back line here, marked in red on my smaller block, it's only 75%, is to, this shoulder blade dot cannot be moved below the cross back line and the back waist dot cannot go above. That's the golden rule. So we're going to look at the first option for eliminating the blade dart. We simply leave the, the blade dart in as ease. So if you were going to do that, what you would do would be just straighten off the shoulder, removing the curve for the dart there, and we would measure how much extra we had in the back shoulder to the front, and we would ease that in. Now that's okay for loose styles, um, where you're not too concerned about the fit. The second option is to pivot the shoulder blade dart into the armhole here. And for that, what we do is we slash in from here to the point of the extended dart. And all I'm going to do is just crease this and fold in the dart. And there you can see that the dart has been moved from the shoulder to the armhole. Now this is perfect if you've got a yoke, if you want to put the dart into a seam line because then you can carry on cutting and detach the pattern pieces and then that becomes two pattern pieces, you have a yoke and a lower body section. The third method, I'm going to pop that back, is to shave the quantity of the dart off from the armhole here. Now that method, if you're not too concerned about fit, is fine again for loose styles, sleeveless styles, etc. If you want to, however, keep the fit of your block and not have a back shoulder blade dart, then this is my method for doing that. So what I do is, number one, I pivot a fraction of the dart into the armhole. So I'm just creasing it there and just tucking out a tiny bit. And you can see I've tucked out barely a couple of millimeters and a fair bit does go into the armhole. I'm then going to measure how much I've got left there. And I've got eight mils left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave three millimeters in as ease. And I'm going to take five mil off here at the shoulder. I'm just going to blend that back in. So that's a combination of all three methods. So when you trace around the block now, you'll just trace around here, taking the new armhole shape straight across at the shoulder and round and continue to trace the rest of the block. So that's a combination of all three methods. It's not too severe in any area and hopefully maintains a good fit for you. And that's my method. Thanks for watching. So that's how we remove a back shoulder blade dart. If you like this and you want to see more, please subscribe.